how to open a wine bottle with a corkscrew. In this video, I'll be sharing how to select the right corkscrew, how and where to make the cut on the foil, where to insert the screw, leverage to remove the cork, how to remove the cork as quietly as possible. I've created a simple step-by-step -step diagram for free and we'll tell you how to get it at the end of the video. Step one, selecting the right corkscrew. This is a double hinge corkscrew and so is this. Based on the waiter's friend corkscrew patented in 1883 by German inventor Karl F. A. Wenke. It has a blade or a knife, a fulcrum, and a screw. And a bottle opener for other beverages. I was really impressed with the corkscrew on top for under $10. The big difference between these two is the blade. You can see here, this one has a much larger blade than this one, tighter, finer serrated edge, and it's also curved a little bit in the shape of the bottle. Also, the fulcrum here is completely more sturdier and stable than this one. It actually moves up where this one really doesn't. And look at the screw on here. This actually has grooves right in the screw, which aids in gripping the cork, where the other one is just smooth. I got both of these cork screws on Amazon, and the links for them are down below the description section. Step two, how and where to cut the capsule. The correct location is under the lower lip of the bottle. And this is for hygiene. Okay, these bottles of wine might be dustier than most, but I wanted to use them to create an extreme example to show that dirt and debris may be present on your wine. Check this out in slow motion. As the wine's coming out of the bottle, it's coming into direct contact with that upper part of the lip. So if you didn't make the cut there, it would be in contact with dust and dirt potentially, especially at the end when you go to lift the bottle up it really comes in contact with that upper part of the lip. While placing the bottle on a flat surface, we want to move the knife, not the bottle. So the motion here is we want to get our blade right underneath the lip here of the bottle. We're going to move it around this side. Then we're going to come around this way and do the same thing, then pull up. So. And with our blade, we want to kind of get it underneath the foil, moving it right up top. Then the cap should just come right off. And you get a nice even line right here and a back. On a side note, if you don't want to be so formal and you're with family and friends or just alone, you can always just twist and pull the capsule right off. Screw it. Number three, where to insert the screw. We want to insert the screw right in the middle of the cork. Turn in clockwise until you get to the last rung of the screw. Number four, how to use leverage to remove the cork. Now we're going to move the top part of the fulcrum onto the side of the bottle and we're going to pull up, not all the way, then we're going to take the second half of the fulcrum right down the bottom and pull almost till we get out. Step five, removing the cork as quietly as possible. We almost have this cork out and just before we do that, we're going to gently move it to the side and you hear a little whisper. As I mentioned in the beginning, I created a step-by-step -step diagram, and that can be found in the description section below. If you have any questions about this video, please leave a comment down below and give me a thumbs up if you liked it. And I'll be doing a lot more of these wine educational videos, so please hit the subscribe button and the bell notification so you don't miss a thing. And I will see you down in the comment section below. Cheers.